Hello everyone, Vintage A32 bringing you a review today that you probably won't see elsewhere. It is a set of decks I got from Murphy's Magic, the printed by Fournier. And they are uh, Series 1, uh, Dorsal Rosal, Series 2, Dorsal Azul, Barazas, Magicas, uh, by I guess LibrosDemagia.com. Let's check them out. All right, so I got kind of some interesting decks here today. These are uh, what it says there. Pazinas presents Lovers Barazas and Magicars and the Idioma. So basically, magic idi uh, playing cards with uh, magic idioms on them. It says Siri 1, Dorsal Rosso, Red 1, and this one is Azul, Blue. They come in these plastic cases. I was a little bit disappointed by that. Um, they also have a one-way back design, possibly intentionally for magic purposes. I got these from Murphy's Magic. I'm not sure what retailers might be selling them. And on the other side it says it presents the most magical cards ever produced in the history of magic by Angel Edigoras. I don't know. It says series one red back. So here's the English version of that. I totally put it the, the other side. <laughs> Itty gongs. I don't know what it says. And you do get a double backer. The one way element is the coin. I'll try to show you that. If I can focus a little bit, maybe. Uh, on the one corner, you can see the coin right out, 10 euro dollar. On this one, it's kind of hidden behind the Ace of Spades. Outside of that, it's more or less a mirror image deck. Actually, two of the coins are hidden behind the Ace of Spades, and the other corner they're not. It's kind of a thick border, but also bridge size. The Jokers, uh, one, it says Joker on top, and it's a hoodie. Is one joker and all the cards feature different magicians on their faces and they got one index also if i recall correctly they're printed by Fournier, so it's pretty interesting all around very interesting opportunity goofy artwork see if you can figure out who's who <laughs> i'll try to keep it focused best as possible come on focus Focus. Never mind. Don't adjust your screen. That's just the artwork. I got kind of looks like Obama, but it's not. It's uh, Fraxen. Whoever Fraxen is. There's also a link on the bottom of the, some of the cards to their website, which is librosdimagia.com. I'll put a link in the description. I think there is actually a different various in the views as well. With a reverse color scheme on the backs. But I haven't seen those anywhere. Very interesting artwork. Very, very colorful and cartoony, to say the least. I wasn't actually sure what to expect when I ordered these decks. I didn't know the face was going to be like this. I don't think I did. There wasn't a whole lot of pictures of the faces, but they're interesting. Like I mentioned, only one index in the upper corner. You get the nose on the snarls on that one. <laughs> the nose. I'm sorry, I'm rushing a little bit. Just want to make sure I have time to complete this video before going for lunch yeah very cartoony figures <laughs> very one way back design one way faces uh they don't handle the best but then again they're not necessarily made for cardistry so i guess it doesn't really matter also on the back you see some doves some magical elements doves cards coins like i said bridge size smooth finish 
once you coat it, I suppose. Suffles nicely. Like I said, I believe if I recall correctly, they put them by Fournier in Spain. And you can see they don't handle necessarily the best. I'll show you the other one quickly. The same as for the double backer. But this one, the Joker, is a different guy. But I believe outside from that, it's the same. Maybe it's not. Oh, it's not. Because this one's more modern magicians. The other is more old school magicians. So I got to show you all of this one. There's that guy. <laughs> This is modern, the other one's old school magicians. So these ones you might recognize a bit better than the other one. I would be surprised if you don't recognize very many magicians from the other deck. Hmm, can't tell it. Uh, of course, that's before he lost weight, by the way. Uh, at the time of recording this video, I understand Tello is in the hospital. He had back surgery, a spine, spinal fusion. Apparently, like the third time he was playing, by the way. That looks just like me, doesn't it? Um, for like the third time this year, I do this in the best. Hope he gets back to the show. Sooner than later, he should be back in February. His camera is a little withdrawn. Of course, he has a card. He's got a reveal for you. Two of diamonds. Look at that guy. He's got a big mouth. Who is he? A Norbert Ferrer. I don't know him. I don't know who that guy is. Channing. Luis de Matos. Portugal, uh, Portugal Zone. David Roth. Of course, he has a coin. Hey, good old Vance Burton. I haven't seen him in quite some time. I must be known for cards as well. Where are they? Where are the bond? Daryl, rest in peace. He died like a year ago or so. Ricky J. I wonder. Ah, Matt King, one of the guys who's replacing Teller over there. So, for the time being. Really upset from Canada, I do believe. Copperfield. And not that more. Very nice. Nice artwork. It's fun. It's a fun little deck. Honestly, not really made for cardistry or performing. Not for collecting, I suppose. But it's cool. Uh, I like what they did here. Uh, that is that. I would say like a 7 out of 10. Based on the handling and, and whatnot, and its usability. So that is that. Uh, not sure who's selling these. Unfortunately, I know Murphy's Magic made them available. I just don't know what retailers are selling them. So that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. Oh, and for the record, just want to add, we can see from the case that it does say Naeps Fournier. It is printed by Fournier in Spain. It's got the artwork on the back. I knew there was something that indicated that, so I just wanted to add that on. See you next time.